Hello and welcome Pisces. This is your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we do here, Pisceans, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, you know, that kind of stuff, or if there's healing that needs to happen. Before we then lastly look at opportunities, as they present themselves to you in the months of September 2023, for the sign of the dreamer, Pisces. Here we go. Whoa, okay. Pisces, in September 2023, the energies here are not easy. Very likely, and I'm a Pisces too, very likely this is not going to be a happy-go-lucky, everything flows months, if that makes sense. Now, I should probably mention this. I recorded a video about Venus going direct again, and there's really super powerful days coming in in September that have to do with your emotions and, and how to manifest love. Uh, I recorded a, a specific video about this, um, please, please, please watch it because Pisceans, we could do with a bit of emotional support, just based on the fact that before we even talked about what is here, uh, the fact that, that none of the things in front of me that I'm going to share with you now feel particularly easy to do or flowing well. Okay. When it comes to your overall energy, you have the energy of Cancer, Cancerian energy, um, and therefore the energy of immersing yourself fully. So, what we are being asked, because I'm a Pisces too, is to be fully present at all moments of the month of September. Now, September is the month where we're moving from summer into autumn. It's the month where things can go. And it's also the month where things slow down quite a bit and and, and Piscean energy, we could do with a break, but it is not the month to have that break right now. We are asked to be fully immersive. Immerse yourself um, into your life so that you can get out of it what you want and what you deserve. You cannot hang back in September, even though you oftentimes will feel, based on the energy here, um, it's a bloody drag. <laughs> I get that. I'm a Piscean myself. All the guys are saying is whatever tiredness you feel, push through it. Be aware that your actions, your presence affect your, affect your future quite a bit. So be there uh, and don't let other people decide on your behalf, that sort of thing. right? So be fully present, be fully in the now. And at the same time, that energy here has the four, the, 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 the energy of four, right? So, of course, the energy of four is the energy of cancer, but it is not really related to cancer. The reason why, why cancer is here at all is because cancer as an imprint looks at the masculine or the, or, the, or, the, or the male side of the family. Therefore, for us Pisceans, the sign of the dreamer, what we can also expect to possibly happen here is old conditionings that come from the male side of the family. Just as an example, what comes into my mind, what I'm hearing here, is the cure. Boys don't cry, right? Um, so the point is, I, 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 they're just singing this to me, you know. Um, and whoever is singing this is much worse than, than, than Robert Smith from The Cure ever was. The point is, you may have heard this as a, as a bloke, for instance, you know, when you were a child, you know, toughen up, man up. Anything that comes your way that tells you to toughen up, man up, get a thick skin, tell them to fuck off. Quite simple. You have every right to be the Pisces and the Piscean that you are. While you immerse yourself, you can be your sensitive self. Don't allow anyone to override you and think that you are a person that, you know, um, wants to be treated differently and that you're a bit needy. It doesn't really matter what people think. You are, by default, a very soft person. And it needs to be reflected in your day-to-day -day life, right? So the moment, because we can expect this masculinity here, um, therefore, very likely, we will be opposed 
by a bit of harder energy, which probably why things are not uh, are not um, flowing so well. And then because the, the reason why Cancer is here as an energy is also because Cancer is obviously depicted by a crab. And so what crabs do when things get too much, they hide in crevices. And we have been told not to bloody hide. So hiding is not an option. Therefore, allowing people to be harsh is also not an option. And what I'm getting is strongly and rudely is to tell them to fuck off. Right? Don't tell me, you know, so it's, it's, it's not about entertaining anybody, listening to their opinions. The moment someone gets too harsh with you, tell them to leg it. Leave you the heck alone, right? Really, really important. Okay. <clears throat> when it comes to um, your emotional core, when it comes to love, uh, for Piscean, uh, Pisces, we are in the energy of progression. So it may not be super easy to manifest something entirely new, if that makes sense, because we're still going through stuff from older relationships that may affect us quite a bit. And what you're being asked is to think whether or not uh, carrying stuff with you from whoever caused you to be now a bit, uh, this is what I'm getting for us Pisceans, to be cautious, right? Um, you have to allow for something new to come in. You have to also allow, should you be in a relationship, to, to speak up, change it, be fully immersed, remember? Um, and think about what does it do if it's not solved? But what I'm getting strongly with regards to love, because there's no healing that needs to happen here, right? Healing happens by you deciding, you know what, I have these thoughts about, uh, you know, an ex, or I have these thoughts about what happened to me and therefore it is difficult to manifest the new. Let it all go. Really, really important. Let it go. And the overall energy that we just talked about a minute ago has the number four. Four is the number of death. It's the number of letting go. We're in the months of September where we're moving from summer to autumn. Ninth month, let it go. Now, the downside is that this is easier said then done because as the sign of the dreamer, a sign that is super deep, we do tend to carry pain around for quite some time. But you will find, Pisces, that it doesn't serve you uh, when trying to manifest happiness, right? Because remember, happiness sits within, and the more pain there sits, in the, before, the more old thoughts sit in there, the harder this gets, okay? So Moving on to the, to the last part here, which is um, opportunities. Now, opportunities are not numerous in September, I'm, I'm afraid to say. We have the number uh, 30, 35, which is 8. 8 is the number of stumbling blocks. So in order for us to make anything happen, we need to look at things differently, thereby topple over the 8, it becomes infinity. You have the Ascendant, which is... Um, it is the energy that sits on the eastern horizon at the time you are born, right? So in, in your chart. What that means is that the ascendant is an energy that is here to guide you, but also push you. And when it comes to opportunity, opportunities, we have to listen to our inner voice and push ourselves to maybe go for things that we otherwise wouldn't look at. So again, like I said, it's not an animal that uh, an animal an, 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 an energy here that or, or months that flows well. But we have the word of entran, entrance. And what that means is it's about opening new doors. Maybe there's something you always wanted to do but haven't yet, right? Maybe you wanted to study something new, maybe you need to add something to your uh, toolbox. This is the month to do it. Okay? So Again, um, unfortunately for us Pisceans, uh, and even doing the reading here, and I am a Piscean, so I always hope and wait for something massively awesome to happen, um, it's not happening this month for us. That doesn't mean we have a miserable month. It just means like we have to be fully present. And when you're fully present, you also then dredge up things that can go, which then can cause some less positive moments, if that makes sense. That's why there's always cake and coffee, right? Indulge a little if you feel like it. Okie dokie. Piscean, thank you so much for watching. This was your September 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. Before I let you go, always remember that the sun is the ruler of the day, the moon is the ruler of the night 
but you are the ruler of your own destiny. Love you and leave you now. See you next month. Bye-bye.